What's up you guys, Big Z here from Sports Talk, happy Sunday and let's talk about some cricket this time because uh, I've covered Wimbledon already, let's talk about cricket because today was the Cricket World Cup final match, no I don't, no one cares about cricket and uh, I'm kind of like in the middle, sometimes I do care, sometimes I don't, but this was a final, it's a Cricket World Cup final, so it's uh, once every four years, just like Football World, World Cup and any other World Cup I think, but let's just go over that a little bit, New Zealand played in England, so they've never won before, until today one of them won, England won. Actually, and it was all drama, all sort of drama, you know. 50 overs, New Zealand uh, batted first. They scored 241 runs off 8 wickets. Henry Nichols had 55 runs off 77 balls. Tom Latham scored 47. And that's basically it for New Zealand. But then England needed 242 runs off 50 overs to win this World Cup, right? But they couldn't. They had just scored 241 runs. So just unbelievable. In 50 overs. So there's 600 balls. It's one over has six balls. So there's 600 times they balled, and uh, England only could score 241 runs. Pretty bad. <laughs> ben Stokes had 84 of 98. Josh Butler had 59 of 60. And yeah, that's basically it for England. So what happens? It's a tie. It's a draw in the Cricket World Cup final. So there's this thing called super over. So each team needed to uh, bat like once. And uh, whoever wins, wins, basically. Whoever can score more runs that the hell held off the enemy <laughs> to not scoring more runs. So this was a thing. I, I've i heard of it before, but I never even knew how it was how it can be executed. But this is the first time I've seen it done. So Ben Stokes and Josh Butler, they were like, okay, we're going to we win the toss. We're going to go... Uh, we're going to go bad for the first over. So they scored 15 runs. And they did not lose any wicket. And uh, so New Zealand needed to just score 16 runs off six balls. And uh, guess what? They couldn't. So they only they could only score 15 runs. So it was another tie, right? That's what you're going to think. That's what you're going to say. You're thinking like that already. But guess what? England had more boundary when they, when they uh, batted the first over, right? So they scored like uh, Ben Stokes had eight runs. Josh Butler had seven. And uh, they scored uh, more boundary, and that's basically it. That's the reason they won, fifteen nothing, fifteen. Well, I mean not fifteen nothing, fifteen for no wicket. And New Zealand had scored fifteen runs. They lost one wicket. The last ball there was a run out, I think. Yeah, and that basically sealed the deal for England. Now they're gonna. Well, they're the world champion in cricket. They've never won this one before. It's so weird. Uh, cricket World Cup's been happening for a while. And they've never won so this is the first time they won and guess what this is the first time well this is one of those times they've hosted cricket uh cricket world cup in their country so it's weird because football world cup or soccer world cup you say they've only won it once in 66 and that was the same time they hosted it in their country as well and now 2019 they win uh, another world cup cricket world cup and they're hosting it here in their country as well but whatever it was it's good it's all good in the hood for england they're cricket and football champion now. Football champion a long time ago, 400 years ago maybe. <laughs> but congratulations to England on winning this one. No brown team made it into the final. It sucks, but it is what it is. New Zealand, England, all white people. Go get it, white people. And you guys got it. Good job, congratulations. Now no one's going to talk about cricket anymore until the next World Cup. <laughs> Big Z out.